Remembering a civil rights legend with a strong message. If it hadn't been for Martin Luther King Jr., I don't know what would have happened to our nation. Today, we honor the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. 50 years after his death. It feels like his message is still within our society. People from all generations, young and old, commemorate the man whose message of love can still be felt around the world today. Happening now, you're looking live at the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church where a wreath laying ceremony for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is set to begin any moment. Commemorative events in honor of Dr. King have taken place throughout the day here in Atlanta and in Memphis. Uh, Dr. King was assassinated at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, which is now the site of a national civil rights museum. And we have team coverage tonight honoring the life and the legacy of Dr. King here in Atlanta and in Memphis. And we start with Fox 5's Deidre Dukes, who's been in Memphis all week long for the commemorative event. Deidre? Yeah, thousands have packed the uh, museum courtyard here to listen to speeches and music and poetry here in tribute to Dr. King, uh, honoring his life and legacy and commemorating the 50th anniversary of his assassination. Now, let me step out of the way now so you can really get a sense of just the sea of people who have gathered here. Uh, this wreath laying ceremony has been underway for uh, nearly two hours now, and so many people um, have been just coming here throughout the day. Um, the uh, commemoration uh, ceremony actually began uh, this morning, the observance with um, music and uh, just people wanting to celebrate his life and then, of course, uh, coming to uh, this afternoon's wreath laying ceremony, a really somber event, but also a rousing occasion. Uh, this crowd hearing from several religious and political leaders here this afternoon. Now, you can see there at the uh, balcony where Dr. King uh, was assassinated, a black draping has been placed and there is a wreath, a red and white wreath beside it. Now, that is uh, right where Dr. King was standing outside room 306 at uh, 6 01 p.m. Central Time, exactly 50 years ago, when a sniper uh, fired a single shot that killed Dr. King. And we will pause here at the National Civil Rights Museum at the Lorraine Motel here at uh, 6 01. A bell that uh, has been placed here, erected here uh, just this morning, will ring 39 times to pay tribute to this great civil rights icon who lost his life so tragically here 50 years ago. There have been uh, so many moving moments here. One that uh, really seemed to draw this crowd uh, was when uh, the Reverend Jesse Jackson emerged from room 307, which was the room that uh, Dr. King was staying in uh, during the period that he was here in support of the Memphis sanitation workers. And he told the crowd that uh, the nation has come such a long way from that day uh, 50 years ago when Dr. King was assassinated uh, here at the Lorraine Motel on the balcony of the motel to uh, today when we elected into uh, here uh, just not too many years ago the nation's first African-American president Barack Obama so he was saying that great strides have been made but yet there is so much more work to be done now uh, this uh, program has been underway for a few hours and we do expect that at 601 these bells will start to ring and we will bring that to you as it happens for now we're live at uh, in Memphis at the National Civil Rights Museum. I'm Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. A moving remembrance there, Deidre, thank you. Now back here in Dr. King's hometown of Atlanta, family members, community leaders, and others gathered to remember King's legacy. Yeah, church services currently underway at Ebenezer Baptist Church. That, of course, where Dr. King preached. There's also a wreath laying ceremony taking place, and we will bring that to you. Fox 5's Marissa Mitchell joins us live now, right near the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church with more. Marissa? Well, it's certainly a somber yet beautiful afternoon for many people as they gather to remember the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Now we are standing right outside the crypt of Dr. King as well as Coretta Scott King where all day families have been coming through, reflecting as well as taking pictures. Let's go inside now to the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church where the civil rights icon speech uh, spoke several Sundays and inspired people uh, 
here as well as around the world. There's a service taking place there now. Now, I've been out here this afternoon speaking with families, and they tell me that it's particularly special to honor King's life in his birthplace of Atlanta. They've had the opportunity to take part in programs at the King Center as well as at the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church. I've seen people of all races and religions here honoring the civil rights icon. They believe unity and nonviolence will remain his lasting legacy. We thought it was very important to be here today because my family is actually visiting. So we chose today specifically for the 50th anniversary. Uh, we're Muslims and especially with what's going on in the country today, it's really important, especially for the little ones we have here to know about injustices that were going on in the past and what's going on today in the future. Definitely a message of coming together for all generations represented here tonight, as well as people from all over the world who have made the trip to Atlanta to take part in the events today. Now, as Deidre talked about at 6.01 uh, Central Time in Memphis, they will ring those bells uh, in honor of King's life. The same thing will happen here simultaneously in Atlanta, and Dr. Bernice King, his daughter, will take place in that service here. That's the latest here at the King Center. Marissa Mitchell. Fox 5 News. All right. Thank you, Marissa. Well, the King Center earlier hosted the MLK Jr. Nonviolent Peace Prize Ceremony this morning. The event honored people committed to preventing violence in their communities while promoting social justice, human rights and civil liberties. The prize is the King Center's highest award, and it also recognizes achievements in the eradication of poverty and racism. Now over in Stone Mountain, DeKalb County officials and the Martin Luther King Jr. Advisory Committee hosted a bell ringing ceremony to remember Dr. King. Crowds gathered inside Memorial Hall at the base of the mountain to watch today's Let Freedom Ring ceremony. DeKalb County CEO Michael Thurman served as the event's keynote speaker. He says having the event at Stone Mountain, which has historic ties to the KKK, may seem strange to some, but Thurman says it helps work toward some of King's own goals. Freedom is ringing from Stone Mountain, Georgia this day. This is a fulfillment of that prophecy. The descendants of slaves and the descendants of slave owners have literally sat down together in the shadow of a mountain that stood for bigotry and racism. We sat down together as brothers and sisters. That is the fulfillment of the dream. Now, in addition to the bell ringing and speeches, the event also featured some musical performances. Well, you can find much more from today's commemoration events marking the 50th anniversary of Dr. King's death on our website at fox5atlanta.com.